शुक्लाचारसारपरमाध्या जगद्व्यानी वीणा पुस्तकधारिणीम जाट्यांधकारापह हस्ते स्फाटिकलिकादसती पद्मासने संस्थिता वंदे तां परमेशरी भगवती बुद्धि शारदा नक्वा सरस्वती देवी शुद्धा गुण्या कौम्यहम पाणीय प्रवेशाय रघु सिद्धांत First a correction in what I said yesterday. So I said uh, Sudhya Upasya. It is a Dhi Shabda. So Dhi declines different from Nadi. I declined like Nadi, Nadya like Nadya. But Tritya Eko Chana should have been Sudhiya. If it is Shobana Dhiya, I made a Karma Dharaya. But a better way to look at it would be so. Sudhya would be wrong even if I take it as uh, karma dharya, shushtu dhi, or shovana dhi. Then it would be sudhi. But uh, tritya will not be sudhya. It will be uh, sudhiya. It would be sudhiya. Other option which is much better is to take uh, sudhi as a bahuri. Shushtu or shovana dhi yasya yasya or yesha. They pandita. They are pandita. Those who have a brilliant mind. The intellect here, the and uh, you can say mind also or intellect who have good intellect, intellectuals they are what panditas or vidwan. So taihi pandita hi upasya ha yah one who is upasya ha taihi pandita hi who sud uh, so sudhi bhi hi sud sudhi is one who is a pandita who has sushtu hi and sudhi bhi hi upasya ha those who are uh, one who is worship worthy by Panditas, Vidwan, he is what Sudhupasya, Sudhupasya. So this is a better vigraha for Sudhi. So I'll take this away. So we'll say Sudhi bhi upasya ha is Sudhupasya ha. That is the bahuri uh, for Sudhi. Sushtu dhi yesham te te pandita ha and tai hi pandita hi upasya. It is Tritya Tatpurusha all right, but Sudhi is bahuri hi there, not karma dharya. So one who is worship worthy, whether it is Vishnu, Ishvara, you can bring in any pada there. So Sudhi bhi upasya ha, Vishnu ho Sudhi upasya ha. We'll come back to this sutra and see the examples, but we'll first finish the lagu prakriya where he started by saying Sudhi upasya ina samasa, tritya tatpurusha samasa. What is this handi karya? And handi karya is eko energy we saw. Eko energy applies, and eko energy in that eka ha. Ikaha is ik pratya includes e u r i and r r but includes all varieties by anudit savarna se cha apratya cha pratya anudit savarna se cha pratya by that ik will include all the their savarna varieties whereas yan is apratya it is not an apratya thereby yan yan adesha will be applicable for what uh, yan uh, yan pratyahara will include yakara vakara Repa and Lakara, but not the varieties. Thus, not Savarna varieties. And then uh, we saw eco in eco energy. Thus, thus many things are discussed. Purva says so. Achi is Parasaptami, or what is called as Bhava Saptami. Parasaptami means it indicates when Ach follows. When Ach follows, what happens? Eka sthane, sasti sthane yoga. By that you bring yoga word there. Uh, sorry, sthane word there. You have a yoga of sthana sthane word. Wherever Shasti is used in the sutra, and you say Shasti sthane yoga by that you say ekah sthane yan. So ekah sthane yan adesha bhavati achi parata or achi pare. When achi immediately follows, ach immediately follows that time there is a yan adesha, and thereby we saw you get sudhya sudhya upasya, uh, and I have just updated the notes to highlight. We we go through many steps here. And what is important for that sutra in the prakriya, or in the prakriya using that particular sutra, where have we landed? What is the siddhi of studying that sutra in the lagu prakriya? That I have marked in bold. This e, e and y. You see, ikara sthane, ikara sthane. Here, suji is dhirga ikara, and dhirga ikara is also included in ik because ik ik has ikara, ik has e, and e includes 
all the 18 varieties of E, thereby Dhirgha E Kara is also included and that gets a Yakara Adesha by the Sutra, uh, not the, uh, the Ashtadhyayi Sutra, but by the Vyakrana Sutra elsewhere, uh, uh, the uh, uh, Vedanga Sutra, Ichu Yashanam Talu. Ichu Yashanam Talu by that, ta Talu Sthana is known for Ikara and Yakara and thereby Talu being common between Ikara and Yakara, Yakara is the Adesha for Ikara and thereby this is the Siddhi. What I have marked in the board is the Siddhi of Ikoyanchi, Suddhyupasya. So iti jate, when Suddhyupasya iti jate, Anachicha is applicable now, Va. It is a Vibhasha, Anachicha Va. Vibhasha, Vibhasha as in or, or meaning you can apply, optionally you can apply. So, if you take the option, what will happen? Vittom will happen of yara. Yaraha anachi pare, anachi pare, and ach should be preceding. When ach precedes and ach, anach follows, when ach does not follow, then ach does not follow, then what happens? Yar becomes two. So, yar which is sandwiched between an ach and anach, that becomes two optionally. So, in one option, you will get sudhyupasya. So, this Dhakara has doubled here. Dhakara, Dhakara, Sudhyupasya is what you'll get. Yeah, Radhika ji, I'll come to that question. It's a good question. I'll come to that question. I'll explain that today as to why. Uh, we'll see that. Today I'll explain that. So, Why, uh, so the question is why Athasamkya Manudesha Samanam is not used instead of Sthani Antartama. We will see there are two ways to see which Adesha is applicable when there are multiple Adeshas for multiple Sthanis. Then how do you, uh, how do you see which Adesha is applicable to which Sthana, which Sthani. We will see that uh, there are two different sutras and both may be seen as applicable here. But why Sthani Antar Tamha is used here, I'll come to that in a, in a bit. So the step, this step which is marked in gold, here you see, not Ukara. Ukara is also important here, so I have marked that. And Yakara should, is Anach. Yakara is Anach, Ukara is Ach. This Dhakara is what? Yar. And that Yar, Vat Dvestaha. So it, it becomes two. So one option, in one option you get Sudhya Upasya. Another option you will get here is Sudhya Upasya. So there is no doubling. Optionally there is no doubling. So Anachicha, if you take the option to apply, then you will get Sudhya Upasya. Dhakara will double. Otherwise you will get Sudhya Upasya. I didn't mention this yesterday, so I am marking that, that this is another option. This is another option which is also valid. Doubling is optional, but you see uh, in Vaidika Sampradaya, this optional doubling etc. is done. Thereby your pronunciation becomes Shuddha, especially in Mantra Ucharana or uh, Nama uh, or Stotra etc. You will see the Ucharana is, is much better when you make the doubling. We also saw Tadanta Vidhi Alontyasya by Alontyasya Sanyogantyasya Lopaha. Here you see once the doubling happens that time Jhalam Jash Jashi is applicable whereby this Dhakara, Purva Dhakara becomes Dakara. It takes the third of the class Adesha because Jash letter follows and thereby this Jhal takes a Jhal takes a third of the class Adesha which is called Jash or Jashtom. So Jhalam Jash Jashi is also called as Jashtom because Jash, Jash Jashaha Bhava Jashtom. Jashtom is what? Jashaha Bhava. Whatever is, is Jash that its status is arrived at by this Dhakara. So this Dhakara has taken Jashtam meaning what? Jash Bhava. It has taken Jash Bhava means it has become third of the class. Therefore it is also called a Jashtam. So Chartam, Jashtam, all these words are used. Natvam, Nakara becomes Nakara, it is called Natvam. Shattvam, Shakara becoming Murdhanya, Shakara is called as Shattvam. Such words are used and especially in Lagu you will see these words used or in Tikas they will say when Jastva has happened, when so it is a short form instead of giving the entire sutra or multiple set of sutras out of which one may apply, they will just say Jastva. So you have to find out which particular sutra in that section is applicable there if you are very particular or otherwise you say Jastva has happened and you move on. Third of the class is the Adesha. 
So here I have taken only one option which is Anachicha has been used Sudhya Upasya. Otherwise you would have got what? So you will continue with Sudhya Upasya. This is the other option when you don't take Anachicha as a, as a applicable sutra and you don't do doubling. Now when this is arrived at Sudhya Upasya Iti Jate then what happens? Sanyoganta Silupa is applicable because there is a Sanyoga at the end. Ante Sanyoga Asti. So Sanyoga Ante Yasya Padasya Tatpadam Sanyogantam Padam. And Sanyogantam Padam Yat Tasya Sanyogantasya Padasya Sanyoganta Padasya Lopaha. So what is that the Anta? Anta is the Sanyoga. This Sudhyupasya in that Sudhyupasya you have this dhakara, dhakara, dhakara and yakara or if you don't take the dhittam also, if you don't take dhittam what you will get? You will get su, dhakara and yakara. So this dhakara, yakara is a sanyoga or if you do, do doubling by anachicha, dhakara, dhakara, yakara is a sanyoga. sanyoga. So this sanyoga is at the end therefore this is what sanyogantam padam and sanyogantam padam Tasya, Sanyoga Antasya Padasya, Sanyogasya Antasya, Sanyogasya Antasya is Yakara, that Yakara by Alontasya, Alaha, this Al, that will undergo Lopa. So Sudhyupasyati Jate, when Sanyoga Antasya Lopaha is applicable, that time what? You use the Vartika, Vartikena, Atra Vartikena Lopa Nishedha Kriyate. So what is the Siddhi here? Siddhi is not of the Sanyoganta Silopa. This, this Sutra is not really applicable as in not used here. It is applicable but by Vartika there is a Nisheda done. There is a extension, uh, there is a Nisheda, there is a uh, negation done of this applicability of the Sutra for Yan being in the end. So Sanyogante Yadi Yan Vartate Tasya Nisheda Kriya, Tasya Lopa Se Nisheda Kriya. Here, no, this Lopa Nisheda is done. By what? By the Vartika. Which Vartika? Vartika which is really under Sanyoganta Silopaha, but the uh, Laghukara brings that at after mentioning Alontasya because he has to explain Sanyoganta Silopaha means Padasya Lopaha, Sanyogasya Lopaha, Alaha Lopaha. So he has to say Alaha Lopaha, otherwise we do not know. We will make Padalopa or we will make Sanyogasya, Sanyogasya Lopa because Sanyoga is at the end you make the entire Sanyoga Lopa so you will get Su, Sudhi Upasya this, this entire Sanyoga would drop off so I will just take this away because we have already done this earlier so I will remove this part confusing you start here Sudhi Upasya just a second Sudhi Upasya uh, yeah so this line I will delete we have already done this earlier and this also we have arrived at. What you have here is Sudhyupasya. This is what we have landed in, in one paksha when Anachicha is there. Or in another paksha without Anachicha you have got Sudhya. So this is also Sanyoga. This is also Sanyoga. Sanyoga and Silopa means do you take away the entire Pada or you take away the entire Sanyoga. In both cases what you will get? In first case you will get but just Upasya. In another case you will get what? or you will get Su Upasya. This is ridiculous. So we have to understand technically how did he land on, not land on Upasya as a Sandhi between Sudhi Upasya or Sudhi Upasya or Su Upasya. Why did he not land on Upasya or Su Upasya? Because Pada is not undergoing Lopa, Sanyoga is not undergoing Lopa, Antya Ala Al is undergoing Lopa, Alontasya. By Tadanta Vidhi, this is called as Tadanta Vidhi, Ala Antyasya. Antyasya Ala Ante Bhava Antyaha and Antyasya Alaha Adesha Syat, whichever Adesha. Here the Adesha is Lopaha. So in our case, Prakrute, in this context, Sudhyupasyati Jate, Yakara Lopaha Prapte Sati. How Yakara Lopa is Prapta? By Sanyogantasya Lopa. Uh, this Sudhya, this Sudhya, Yakara Lopa Prapte Sati. What do you do? By Alontasya, Yakara Lopa is Prapta. Sanyogantasya Lopa and Alontasya put together Yakara Lopa Prapte Sati. What do you do? Uh, you use the Vartika which is in the Sanyogantasya Lopa. Although he has mentioned here. See, he has mentioned here. 
इति यलोपि प्राप्ते सति वार्तिका दिस वार्तिका इज नॉट अंडर अलोन चस्य दिस वार्तिका यणः प्रतिषेद वाच्यः इज अंडर संयोगांतस्य लोपः ऑल दो इन दी डेरिवेशन प्रक्रिया ही इज ब्रिंगिंग इट हियर हाउएवर इट इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल फॉर अलोन चस्य इट इज एप्लीकेबल फॉर संयोगांतस्य लोपः दैट टाइम व्हाट हैपेंस यकार लोप प्राप्ते सति यकार लोप न कर्तव्यः शुड नॉट बी डन अंत्यस्य अक्षरे कैन इट बी स्वरा टू द लास्ट अक्षर सी संयोग इज व्हाट लुक एट द सूत्र संयोग व्हाट इज व्हाट इज संयोग संहिता हैज नॉट बीन यूज्ड हियर संयोग हैज बीन यूज्ड हलो नंतरा संयोग हलो नंतरा संयोग राइट देन हाउ कैन यू से स्वरा स्वरा कैन नॉट बी ब्रॉट अबव बिकॉज़ द the earlier sutra to that was samhita so it was said samhita samhita is parasannikarsha samhita but halo nantara sanyoga sanyoga is not applicable to ach sanyoga is applicable only to multiple hulls more than one hull therefore swara it cannot be it, it can only be a hull okay so then so yakara lopa is not done this is what we have seen yesterday and we have seen other examples now so, so you will get what suddhyu and suddhya or suddhya upasya so what you arrive at is uh, you don't do yakara lopa and you do just add varna melanam you add varna melanam you will get what suddhyu upasya or suddhyu upasya dakara dakara then dakara or you don't get dakara because Jalam Jash Jashi is applicable only when Yar is followed by uh, Jash and here when you don't do doubling then it is not applicable you will get Sudhyu Pasya and then this is a Pratipadikam when this is a Pratipadikam you add Su Su is the first Prathama Ekvachana Pratyaya because you have to get a Padam to use it and then you will get Sudhyu Pasya Pasya or Sudhyu Pasya Pasyaha. These are the two valid, okay, just there is an error here, Sudhyu Pasya. Okay, so these are the two valid words that we have got after the Siddhi. I will make this bold. This is what you have got. Actually, this is the step, not this step. So, I will mark this one as bold. And finally, you have to make a Padam and call this as Supting Antam Padam. Otherwise, you cannot use it. This Sakara Ukara is it letter, it will go, Sakara alone remains and Sakara will become a Visarjaniya, Visarga it will become. See, alone just here, alone, uh, okay, so your question was Antya Alpha not for Sanyoga Antya Asya Lopaha. What was the Antya for? You asked for Alone Antya Asya. Yeah, Al is, that is why Al is said, see, Al is Aj plus Hal. All is any letter. I, I mistook your question for Sanyoga Antasya. In Sanyoga Antasya, that Antya can it be, uh, Anta letter can it be Al? That's, a, that's what I answered. But you are asking, Alontasya, can Al be? Yes, it can be anything. It can be any letter. Antasya Allah, the Adesha which is given. See, here you look at it, Sudhi Upasya. In this Sudhi Upasya also, uh, forget uh, here, but elsewhere also. Let's say, uh, Yan Adesha. In yan, uh, ikaha yan, so ikaha is there. No, uh, elsewhere, uh, we'll see elsewhere when we come to that, I'll explain as any adesha is applicable generally to the last letter, last letter of the sthani. And sthani is identified either by shashti directly or saptami. Uh, when saptami uh, nirdesha sati, then it is for the purvasya. And purvasya kasya, padasya antyasya alaha. Not padasya, padasya antyasya ala. It is always for an al, which is the letter. No, it is not a stupid question. It's, uh, I was not sure what was the question for, whether it is for the sanyoga antasya or uh, alontyasya. So alontyasya, al has been said, you stick with al. Al means all letters, any letter. Al is, ach plus hal is al. So any letter. So it has been said alontyasya and in this context, it is here, it is taken with sanyoga antasya lupa, therefore, uh, we see this Yana Pratisheda Vachya as applicable after this sutra, but actually this Yana Pratisheda is at the Sanyogantasya Rupa level 
where the Sanyogantasya Lopaha is interpreted with this Alontasya Sutra. This is a Paribhashika Sutra, Mita Sutra to interpret Sanyogantasya Lopa. Not only Sanyogantasya Lopa, Lopa is an Adesha. Any Adesha which is given, there if the Sthani is not clear. See, Ikaha Yan Achi, there Ik is very clear. What is the Sthani Ik? Which is the Ik letter? You cannot get confused between Pada and an Ik letter. You will never confuse, uh, unless the Pada itself is an, uh, entire Pada is an Ik letter, you will not confuse your system. There also if it is a Pada, Pada is an Ik letter, uh, hypothetically I am saying, but you will otherwise never confuse Ik, Ikaha Sthane Yan as Ika, which is the Sthani, Ik is the Sthani, Veni Ik letter is a Sthani. There you will not get confused as to whether Pada I should replace or ending of the Pada I should replace, which part of the Pada I should replace. Adi or uh, end, whether at the beginning I should have the replacement, the end or the entire Pada. Here it is said Alontasya. Alontasya means that only the ending letter should be taking the Adesha all the time uh, as a general rule. Now there are a lot of exceptions to this. We will see the exceptions when we get there as to what if the entire Pada has to be replaced, how should that uh, Adesha be given as, all that we will see uh, in the context when we reach there. But this is a general rule, one rule. One rule says that whenever there is a uh, Stani is not clear, Adesha has been given and you say Angasya, Padasya, something, there is a Stani, Anga is a Stani, Pada is a Stani and an Adesha is given, then what should the Adesha be applicable to? It should be applicable to the end of the Stani, the last letter of the Stani, end meaning the last letter, ending letter of the Stani. Okay. Other examples, we will finish these examples and then go to uh, Sayogantasya Lopa proper. Other example given is Madhuri. So here there are two, four Adeshas. Ikastane Yan. So E, U, R, R, uh, they are taking Yan Adesha, Ya, V, R and L. So here Ya Adesha we have seen by what? Iko Yanachi, Ya Adesha. Sthane Antaratama because they are closest in proximity. How? Ichu Yashanam Talu. So pronunciation proximity is what? Closeness in closest. So Tamaha. Tama Pratya is for closest. Closest in Sthana. In Sthana of pronunciation Sthana is E and Y are both are Talu. Talu is the Sthana. Therefore, Yakara is the Adesha among Yan for E Kara. Thereby we have got Sudhyupasya and then next one for Yava, Repha and Lakara. Vakara is seen here in Madhuari. Madhu Ari. So Madhu Ari is, uh, Madhu is a, a, a demon, a demon Rakshasa. Ari is an enemy. So Vishnu is an enemy, Ari, of Madhu. So Madhuho Arihi, Madhu Ari. It is a Sashti Tatpurusha Samasa. So here by Ikoyanchi you replace Ukara because Ukara is Ik. And ikasthane yana adesha syat. Among yan, what should I? In yan pratyara, which should be the adesha? Sthane antaratama. Sthane antaratama is applicable. How do I find the sthana antaratamattam? How is the antaratamattam known between sthana? Upupadmhaniyana oshtav. So the sthana for u is what? Oshtav. Oshta sthana is there. Then vakarasya dantoshtam. Danta and oshta both are there. Although Danta is not there, Oshta is there in Vakara and Ukara also has Oshta, thereby Oshta Samanyam is there. By Oshta Samanyam, by Oshta, Oshta becomes Antaratamaha between Ukara and Vakara. Every, here it is Talu. Ikara is Talu. Yakara, sorry, not Ikara. Yakara is Talu. Ikara was also Talu. So I had no question there. But here, Oshta is there on the other side, Dantoshta is there, but if I compare Yakara, Repha, Lakara, which is closer, Vakara is closer, because Yakara has a Talusthana, then, then, see Ruturashana, Murdha, so Murdha also is far away, Resha, Repha has Murdha, and last, this was Lakara, Lutalasanam Danta, Danta, but I don't have Danta, I don't have Murdha, I don't have Talu, but for Ukara there is only Oshta, which is the Antaratamattam is Dantoshtam. Danta, but Oshta is sitting there, by that closest proximity in pronunciation sthana, 
Vakara is the Adesha for Ukara and thereby Madhu Ari becomes Madhva Ari. Here also Anachicha can walk in and thereby I will get what? If I uh, apply Anachicha then I will get Madh. Madh. I will get Madh. Sorry. Keyboard is slow. Yeah, Madhva. I will get Madhva Ari if I take Anachicha as an option and then after that Jhalam Jashi will also be applied, applicable. So I will get Madh then Dhva Ari. By what? Jhalam Jash Jashi. By this. So this is another option. I will mark as optionally I will get this. So what are the two forms? Madhvari or I will get Madhvari. So these are the two forms. Because uh, this is a Pratipadika, I have to add Su and then thereby Suptingantam Padam. I will get. Similarly, Dhatrausha. In Dhatrausha, Dhatr, Rukaranta Shabda is there and Aumsha, Akara, Ach is following. So here, Ikoyan Achi, Achi Paratha, Ikahai, Ikastane, Ru is Ik, Ik letter, and you will get what? Ikastane, Repha Adeshavoti. You will get Dhatr, Dhat, then Repha Adesha. Why Repha? Because Ruturashana Murdha. By that, I will get Ruturashana Murdha, thereby. I will get Dhat R Amshaha. Actually, Su you cannot add here. It should be added at the end. So, Dhat Ramsha, first you should get a Pratipadika before you decline it. So, Rutu Rashanam, Rutu Rashanam, Murdha. By that Murdha Sthana uh, Samipyam, I get Dhat Ramsha and Dhat Ramsha can be declined as Dhat Ramshaha. So, this is our Siddhi here. and achieve parata so this part also in lakruti hi ru akruti hi yasya so ru not ru ru iva so it will be what ru ru iva akruti hi yasya so dhatra usha is what here also it is what dhat dhatu dhatu hu dhatu with dhatu hu so uh, dhatru, dhatru Shabda is there. Dhatru is what? Dhata. Dhata Dhata Ro Dhata Raha. Dhata Dhata Vidhata. So Dhatuhu Vidhatuhu Vidhatuhu Aumshaha. Aumshaha is a Shashti Tatpurusha. Dhatuhu Vidhatuhu Aumshaha. This is the explanation. Vidhatu is an explanation of Dhatu. Vidhata. Vidhata is Aumsha. Uh, so it is an Aumsha of Vidhata. Therefore Dhatra Aumshaha. Here Lakruti, Ru, Iva, Akruti, Ru, see the, uh, not Ru, Lu, so Lu, so Lu, Iva, so Lu is you see the bend, the curve, the ending bend that you see here, the Akruti, the form, when Krishna is playing the uh, Basuri, that time, he is like the Tribhanga, you see that the bend at three places, it's very, uh, it's a form of uh, happiness, Ananda, uh, that's why all the cows and uh, uh, others come running by, because he is a form of love, Krishna, and that is the form of Lu that he takes. So Lu Iva Akruti Yasya Krishnasya. Yasya Yasya Krishnasya. Yasya, yasya Murali Krishnasya. So let's say Murali Krishnasya. Sya Saha. Saha Murali Krishna what? Uh, Lakruti. He is called as Lakruti. Lakruti is what? Lu Akruti. When you put together as a Bahuri Samasa, Ru, Akriti, Yasya, so Ru and Akriti will come together, you will have a Sandhi. A is an Ach, Ru, Lu has a Lu, Lu, it is a Lu. So Lu, Lu is what? You will get Lutulasana, Dantaha, thereby Samipyam is there with Lakara and Ikoyanachi, Stane Antartama, you will get Lu, will get a, will get Lu, as an Adisha and thereby you will get what? Yeah, here also I have added Su to mark that, but Su is better added at the end. So he will get Lakara as an Adesha and La Akruti will become Lakruti. 
okay and then you add su log kruti plus su you will get log kruti hi. so this is the uh, this this is the ekoyanachi sutra completed okay before we move on to next sutra let's see the incomplete sutra in lagu which is sanyoganta shiloka because what has been covered there really is sanyoganta shiloka vartika vartika has been covered but not the sutra proper now sutra is very complicated okay sutra is very complicated what is the complication in sutra uh, we'll stick to what is the siddhi of Sanyoganta Shilopa. That is what we have to understand. However, to get the, to that example, we'll need we'll need a uh, lot of uh, uh, lot of sutras. Okay, there's a question. Uh, Radhika, Ma, what is the what has not been understood there? See, Ekoyanachi. See, Lu Lu is the Lu is ik. And ach, a is ach, ach is following. Therefore, eko yanchi is invoked now. Ikahasthane, likarasya ikahasthane, a iti achi parataha, yan adesha bhoti. So, yan which, which should be the adesha for likara, which is the closest little asanam dantaha. So, by danta being the sthana in close proximity, lakara is the adesha. What is what is this ru? There is no ru. See, it is lu. There is not lakara and refa. It is it is a vowel. Lu. Lu is a vowel. E a e um real rik real rik that lu. So lu is what? Lakara. See, it is and I can only show you by writing. You pronounce however you like. See, ru, it is not ru. Ru would be what? Lakara. So Lakara and Rukara. This is what people think. It is not Lakara and Rukara. This is a vowel. It is a vowel which is written as Lu. Lu is a vowel. A, E, Un, Lu, Lik. Lu, Lik. So you say Rik, but it is not, does not have Repa content at all. It is Lil, Lik. Okay. So it is a vowel. It is not a consonant and a vowel Sandhi. Uh, it is a vowel. So therefore, the single vowel lu gets a lakara adesha because of litu. See, litu las, lasanam. This lakara and this lu is a vowel. Litu, tavarga letter. Tavarga, tu is tavarga. Litu lasanam dantaha. Dantaha sthana. Danta sthana is there. Yeah, okay. Now that the confusion is gone, so we have seen what sutra now? We have seen Iko Yanachi Sutra. Only one sutra we have seen in this Siddhi across multiple sutras. We have seen Tadanta Vidhi in this. We have seen Sanyoganta Lopa, Vartika, but not the application. We have seen Jhalam Jash Jashi. So, what sutras did we see for Siddhya of Ekoyanachi? Ekoyanachi, see one sutra Ekoyanachi. To understand this, we have seen Tasminiti Nirdishte Purvasya, we have seen Sthane Antaratamaha, and we have seen Anachicha. Then, if Anachicha is applicable by Vibhasha, then we have seen another is involved, Jhalam Jash Jashi, four sutra. Then after that, Sanyoganta Silopa is applicable, but by that Vartika it is refuted, and then you get uh, uh, Yanaha Pratisheda Vachyam. Yanah Pratisheda Vachyam. So, Vachyam or Vaktavya. Same thing anyway. So, Yanah Pratisheda. Pratisheda should have been uh, set. And there was Sanyoganta Silopa is refuted. So we saw five sutras, but fifth sutra we did not see an example. We saw the Vartika example. We haven't seen the sutra example. Now let's go to the sutra example. Before that, I'll deal with uh, Radhikamma's question. She had asked as to another sutra which will come up a little later. I'll just mention that sutra. Uh, there is another sutra which says that when there are multiple adeshas to multiple adeshas to be given for multiple sthanis, then which is an adesha for which we have seen by sthane antaratama. Then there is another sutra which will come uh, at HOIYA, we will uh, see after the uh, HOIYA HO sutra, next sutra is Yatha Sankham Sankhyam Anudesha Samana. We will see that sutra in detail later. But what that sutra says is that if there are as many adeshas as, as there are sthanis, then 
you can have a respective one-on-one -on -one adesha. So for example, so what is the question that uh, she asked is, in eco energy, so we also saw alontyas here. So in eco energy, I'll just uh, deal with it here. So in eco energy, energy, so where I'm marking bullets, this, these bullets are marked so that you don't confuse if you look up the notes as this is the Moola Vritti. It is not the Moola Vritti. So Moola Vritti I'm leaving as it is, but anything that I am adding, so all these are Moola Vritti. Uh, not this of course, because this is in brackets, this is an additional extension there, but otherwise I am adding everything to in bullets, so that the notes are separate from the Moola Vritti of the uh, of uh, Lagukara. So in Iko Yanachi, this Sutra Ika Ik is what? For Ik, Yan is the Adesha. Ik, ik for Ik, Yan is the Adesha. Ik is what? Ik is it is e u r and l adesha is what adesha is yakara vakara refa and lakara so there are four each here you have four and left hand side lhs is four rhs is four why not make one on one and you see that yakara is an adesha for e kara ikara e kara vakara is for u refa is for r and lakara is for l it fits in why not do that however we have seen Anudit Savaranasya Cha Pratyaha. By Anudit Savaranasya Cha Pratyaha, this is, an ap, this is a Pratyaha. It is not an Apratyaha. Therefore, Yakara Vakara Repha are four. All right. This is, these are four Adeshas. However, on left hand side, you do not have four. What do you have here? You have 18 of E Kara. E kara. So, 18 of E. You have 18 of U. Rukara, how many you have? You have 12 of Rukara because the, uh, 18 because 18 because there are there is Raswa and Dirga. This fellow Rukara does not have Dirga. Therefore, there are only 12 varieties. So there are 18 plus 18 plus 18 plus 12 varieties on left hand side and there are four on right side. Therefore, you cannot say make a one on one Adesha. This is the idea. Therefore, Stane Antartama has been used here. Otherwise, Yatha Sankyam Anudesha Samanam can could have been used. It has not been used because there is strictly speaking, there are not four elements on the left side. Stanis are not four. Stanis are a lot more. Therefore, it has not been used. Is that clear? Yeah. Now, another thing also I'll mention. Although this is technical, Yatha Sankhyam Anudesha Samanam can also be used if you say this is a E, U, R, and sorry, ru and lu by saying it's a jati. So if you can say this is not e is a, just a jati. If I say jatya, jatya, jatya meaning as a as a class. Jatya. If I say e u, then yatha sankhyam anudesha samanam can also be used here. Kim anudesha. Samanam. Sama. Samanam. So by this Jatya, I can get E U R U and so I'll, I'll put this in brackets. I'll say Jatya E U R U and Tena Yatha Sankhyam Anudesha Samanam can also be used. But uh, strictly speaking, it should not be used. There are many technical reasons, Amma. There, the, I am just telling you possibility. I am saying why it has been used. Whether Panini, see Panini didn't say you use this sutra. Lagukara is using this sutra. Panini cannot be blamed for what methodology a, a prakriyakara sees. And we are not saying there is a dosha here. There is there is a lot of thought which has gone into say as to why uh, yatha sankhyam anudesha samanam has not been used by Lagukara. Lagukara uses this because he says technically it is not, it is not four, it is um, much more, it, it includes because he just, just taught you Anudit Savranasya Cha Pratyaya. He cannot break his own uh, teaching. Okay. So, uh, if, if you are, if, if someone else uses, I am saying if someone else uses Yatha Sankhya Manudesha Samanam, it may still work 
but it has to explain as a jati and this jati is not seen by many. See, in the prakriya, this prakriya, anudit, anudit savarnasya cha pratyaya has just been done. So it's, it's there fresh in the mind and thereby this sutra may not occur. However, if this sutra comes to mind and one uses it, then there is nothing wrong with it. That is what the explanation uh, Bhaimikara gives there. He, it, he does not give it here. He gives it under that yatha sankhya manudesha samana. So thereby we know by Bhaimi Vyakhya, we know that there is a possibility that yatha sankhya manudesha samanam can also be used and maybe it has been used by another somebody else in this Eko Yanachi Sutra. Okay, so now we'll go back to Sanyoganta Silopa and uh, I'll try to do this sutra. If you do not understand many of the sutras we have to see, please ignore them. I will just explain those sutras in little bit. I will not, preferably not entertain any questions on the other sutras except for Sanyoganta Silopaha understanding. So an example given by Kashika will take up, one example will take up, which is Matupanta Pratya. And for Matupanta Siddhi, it is a Subanta Siddhi. Subanta is the most complicated prakriya in terms of steps of derivation. It, because for one Rupa Siddhi, one of 21 forms or 24 forms of Subanta, for one Rupa Siddhi of one Vibhakti, one Rupa Siddhi, you have to use many sutras. Thereby, uh, Subanta is a complicated prakriya that way. So we'll see these sutras which I'll talk about and give basic meaning which is needed to get that step. I'll just mention that. Don't go into uh, details of Padacheda and what that uh, sutra means. I'll just tell the basic meaning which is applicable here. And do not, please do not ask questions on those sutras. Otherwise, I'll have to explain a lot. And then we'll be doing Subanta Prakriya in Achsandhi. So I'll talk about those. But remember that our idea to understand this example is to see Sanyogantasya Lopa applicability. Where is it applicable? So the example given by Kashika Kara is Goman. Goman is the example. What is Goman? Goman is a Pullinga Shabda. Pratipatika is Gomat. Gomat is the Pratipatika. So Gavaha. Gavaha is what? Bahavaha Gavaha. Bahavaha Gavaha Asya Asti Iti Gomat. Pul, uh, matup. Matup. Uh, the Sutra is Tadasya Asti Asmin Iti Matup. This Sutra is used which says Matup is a Pratyaya. Matup is a pratyaya for what? Tad asya asti asmin. Whatever. Something is there for this particular entity or it is in this particular entity. Therefore, matup is added. In that sense, matup is added. This is a taddita pratyaya which is added to what? Go. So, go plus mat. Mat is matup. Matup is matup. Go plus matu in this pakara is it by halantyam. This is sutra we already seen. Halantyam it thereby pakara will go. Go plus mat you will get by halantyam it and upadeshi janunasika it. Anunasika ach is it letter tasya lopaha. Thereby you will get go mat. So there are two sutras applicable here. Halantyam and upadeshi upadeshi janunasika Sika it and then also tasya lopaha. Tasya lopaha lopa syat. Tasya kasya tasya itaha lopa So this, this all we have seen. We have not seen tadasya asti asminiti matup, but it matup means that what this go plus matup will be a pratipadika, which means that entity, whoever that is, whatever, whoever, in whichever linga it is, that has go. Has go means what? Has lot of go, not just one cow. One, a person who has one cow can be called as Goman, but really it has to be used. Matup has to be used in the sense that lot, a lot should be there. Therefore, Bhava Gavaha Asyasti, cows are there. He has many cows. That person in Pullinga will become what? Goman. Pratipadika is Gomat, but Gomat, but in Pullinga, the declension in one one is Prathama Vibhakti Ekvachana will be Goman. How do you get that? Go plus Matup, then go plus Mat. This is what you arrived at. So, Gomat is the Pratipadika. This is Pratipadika. How do you get that? Krit Taddita Samasascha Pratipadikam Sanyakam Bhavati. So, Krit Taddita Samasascha. Krudanta Pada, Taddita Pada and Samasa are, are what? Are Pratipadikam. And by becoming Pratipadikam a nominal base, it can be declined by another sutra which says Suojas, Amauchas, Tabhyam, Bis, Ityadi. 
there are 21 pratyas in one sutra which are subanta uh, are supratyas the supratyas are added to a nominal base which is pratipadikam so once you say pratipadikam niyat pratipadika forget niya pratipadika pratipadika is after a pratipadika panchami vibhakti after a pratipadika su aujas am aujas ityadi pratyaha bhavanti pratyah parascha pratyah is added paraha is added later so when you add this pratyah you get later from what pratipadika gomat is a pratipadika and after that su aujas ityadi pratyah prati, uh, pratyas can be added and then gomat can be declined now this su is what it is pulling a su so, uh, because su is not pulling a su is uh, su is su but gomat is a pulling a pratipadika i want to decline this as a pulling a. therefore pulling a gomat su is added pratipadika then this ukara is what we have already seen upadeshe janunasika it so by upadeshe janunasika it and tasya lopaha ukara goes away and sakara aron remains once sakara remains then this sakara which is hanging just one sakara which is cannot need not be sakara it is what just one hanging sakara what happens to this we'll see in the end so this sakara will be hanging right now now we'll go back to gomat what happens to gomat when sakara follows sakara is what a supratya follows there this uh, gomat sorry gomat gomat what happens to gomat gomat becomes gomat it becomes goma this akara 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 becomes akara in the end why because there is another sutra which says atvasantasya chadhatu ho sarvanam sthane asambuddho angasya upadaya dirga we are interested in this upada dirga what is upada upada is a penultimate letter penultimate letter means second last letter this gomat shabda in this gomat shabda which is the second last letter so if you see gakara okara makara akara takara that is gomat this is gomat in this second last letter is called as upada any not in this anywhere second last letter is called as upada this is penultimate letter or second last letter so this akara is is upada this is upada akara is upada and this upa upada upadayaha akara akarasya upadayaha akarasya dirgah adesha bhavati dirgah is the adesha it should become dirgah and what is dirgah for akara akara is the dirgah therefore akara has become akara here and when does it happen i'll just basic uh, vrittiya explain atvasantasya atvasantasya cha adhatu when it is not a dhatu what is not a dhatu anga anga angasya upadaya this is called as an anga to whichever a pratya is added whatever precedes that is called as anga so the anga is called as yasmat pratye vidhi tadadi pratye angam this is the definition of angam what is an anga anga is that which for which yasmat pratye vidhi vidhi of the pratya is is ordained after which so this sakara has been ordered ordained for what pratipadika so pratipadika yasmat pratipadika pratye this su pratya vidhiyate pratye vidhi bhavati tadadi tadadi is what this this adi tadadi pratyangam so tadadi from this adi sig adi is what gakara so gakara from this gakara onwards till what pratya till this pratya till this means not including this so this entire thing starting with gakara and ending ending just before this pratya pratyaye so pratye up to the pratya following that entire entity is called as anga this is the definition of anga and angasya upadhaya is what angasya upadhaya is akara angasya upadhaya ha dhirga ha bhavati when for which when this this anga is not a dhatu adhato when it is not a dhatu when it is not a dhatu adhato adhatu and what atvasantasya angasya which angasya atvasantasya this anga should be should be what atva should be atvasantasya i'll just explain this word here aswat atvasantasya this is at and at as atvasantasya atu so i'll just say atu atu and as 
but antasya. That's what word this word is. Antasya. So atu and as. Atuanta and asanta. Atuanta is what? Matu. Matu is matu. Matu is atu. So atu is part of matu. You see in matu, matu you have atu. Atu is part of is sitting in between matu. So there may be other pratyas also, therefore atu has been used so that it is applicable across. And he says atu, atuanta, and we are interested in atu here, atuanta. So is gomat atuanta? Yes, it is. Because it is matupanta, therefore it is atuanta. And atvasantasya cha dhato. So matupantasya. Here we will take matupantasya. Matupantasya cha adhato is matupanta adhato. It is not adhato. It is a pratipadika. Here it is a pratipadika. Goma, therefore, this is a matupanta adhato. And after a matupanta adhato, not after, for a matupanta adhato anga, which is sarvanamasthane, in sarvanamasthana. So this Sakara, when Su is added, Su in Pullinga is called as Sarvanamasthana. Not Su, but when Su follows, this Anga, this part is called as Sarvanamasthana. For that, another Sutra we have to look at. I'll just mention. So, if you don't understand uh, much of it, you, and there is no need to remember at all, but if, and if you do not understand, just hold on your to your breath till we land on the this step, which is marked in bold, where Sanyoganta Silopa is applicable. For completion, I am uh, adding the other sutras. So, what is uh, what is said here is, you have these words. Atvasantasya I have explained as Matupanta right now. Chadhato is Cha is Chakara. Adhato, it should not be a dhatu. That also I have explained. Then there are these words. Sarvanamasthane Asambuddho Angasya. Angasya I have explained. Upadha I have explained. Dhirgha is need not be explained. It is understood. That is the Adesha. So, Sarvanamasthana and Asambuddha. Asambuddha I will explain first. Asambuddha is what? Na Sambuddha. Not in Sambuddhi. Sambuddhi, Asambuddhi is a Pratiparika. Na Sambuddhi, Asambuddhi. And uh, in, in Saptami Ekvachana. In Asambuddhi, in Asambuddhi, Sarvanamasthana. What is Asambuddhi? Sambuddhi is Sambodhana Prathama. Sambodhana Ekvachana is what? Prathama. And Sambodhana is Prathama Vibhakti. In that Eka Vachanam, out of that Prathama Vibhakti is what? Prathama Vibhakti means uh, Eka Vachana, Dvivachana and Bahu Vachana. But Eka Vachana in that is called as Sambodhana, is called as Sambuddhi. Prathama Eka Vachanam is called as Sambuddhi. So Asambuddha means what? When it is not in Sambodhana. Not in Prathama Sambodhana. Prathama Eka Vachana. Eka Vachana Sambodhana, it is, Sambodhana it is not that time, in that place which is called as Sarvanamasthana. And Sarvanamasthana is what? Sut apun anapunsakasya. Sut anapunsakasya means sut. This anyway, uh, uh, just take as the su just am out. So this is su just am out. The first five pratyas. The first five pratyas, that sthana, that place of derivation when you are deriving su just So when I add su, so ramaha, ramo, ramaha, ramam, ram, ramo. That second ramo, dvitiya, dvivachana. Till then, those pratyas, those five pratyas are called as sut. It is a short form from starting from su to out. Su au jas am out. That out. So this is what? Su au jas am out. Sut equal to sut. It is sut. It is sut. In, uh, in uh, sandhi it has become sud. So this sut is equal to su au just so just am out these are the five pratyas these five pratyas when they follow the anga this sthana is called as sarvanamasthana so in a sarvanamasthana what is the meaning of this sutra in a matupanta pratya here it means matupanta in matupanta not pratya matup is the pratya and that kind of an anga matvan matvanta matupanta or matvanta Pratipadika when it is there in the Anga and it is not a Dhatu because it is Pratipadika and Sarvanamasthana. In Pullinga, this is Pullinga, therefore Sut is the Sarvanamasthana. Sut sthana is Sarvanamasthana and it is Asambuddhi because you are not saying He Gomat, you are saying He go, hey, Goman, not He Goman. It is Goman, you are declining it like Ramaha, therefore Prathama Ekvachana is not Sambuddhi. It is an Anga, Pratipadika entire Anga, Upadha is a Penultimate letter, Tasya Dhirga Bhavati, thereby Gomat becomes Gomat. This is the explanation of this one step, Gomat, how Gomat became Gomat. After that, there is something called as Numagama. 
this gomas becomes gomant this nakara comes and sits here why because of this sutra ugidacham sarvanama sthane adatoho angasya num bhavati num is an agama it is not an adesha it is an agama agama is like mitravat i had mentioned earlier adesha is shatruvat adesha comes and replaces like a shatru king an enemy king will come and when he takes over he takes over the king he replaces himself on the stone on the throne he replaces the earlier king so he is a shatruvat adesha but agama is mitravat it comes and sits next to it now next to it means where whether on the left side right side or in between so uh, this is the question here and when num agama is added this ukara ukara is makara is it by halantyam ukara is it by uh, upadeshe janunasika it and tasya lopa so content is only nakara where should this nakara go so there another sutra says mit mit means makara ityas mit is a makara is it so that is mit and mit achontyat paraha antya ach antya achah paraha after the ending last ach what is the last ach in gomat last ach is gakara okara makara and here there is akara and then takara so last ach is this akara here go gom at that gom at akara is the last ach and mid achontyat paraha that antya akara after the antya akara uh, antya vowel and here vowel happens to be akara after the last vowel this mit whichever is a mit adesha here it is agama being mit it is an agama and that agama num agama being mit because it is makara is it in that agama therefore it will come and sit after the last vowel last vowel of what angasya of the anga and which anga sarvanamasthani anga this is sarvanamasthana we have already established and it is not a dhatu adhatu ho after a non dhatu pratipadika is a non dhatu ugidacham i'll skip right now then what happens is that you will get nakara so it will become goman gomanta gomant akara so you will get go this gom a you have a so nakara numagama will come and sit here and then there is a takara here at the end so this after this akara which is antya ach after that this mit agama will sit in and content is nakara therefore you will get gomant so you will get gomant now we have arrived at our sutra which is sanyoganta se lopaha so this is sanyoganta pad it is pratipadika sanyoganta se padasya now this this is also a goma uh, now this definition i don't want to go through this was asked by uh, venkatesh ji also earlier what is the other definition of padam so right now you take the uh, this thing as this is padam this is also padam and therefore sanyogantasya padasya lopa syat so lopa this is invoked now because you have gomant nakara and takara put together are sanyoga halonantara sanyoga and they are pada also for some reason uh, this sutra i'll not going through uh, but there is another uh, definition of pada thereby this is pada and gomant padasya antasya sanyogasya sanyogasya antasya lopa syat and uh, tadanta vidhi alontasya by that the last letter undergoes lopa last letter and thereby you get this takara lopa in gomant gomant nakara takara is a sanyoga sanyo sanyo uh, halo nantara ha sanyoga halo nantara sanyoga thereby you get the sanyoga sanya here and then takarasya sanyogantasya takarasya lopa hasya alaha so here you say alontasya alontyas alontyasya is it by that you will get the tadanta vidhi and alontasya means alaha antasya antyasya alaha which is takara here antyasya alaha takarasya lopaha syat by this you say what sanyogasya so is sanyogasya sanyogantasya padasya sanyogantasya padasya is equal to padantasya padantasya sanyogasya 
संयोगस्य अलह दिस लास्ट अलह इज इक्वल टू व्हाट तकारस्य लोपः स्यात् देयर बाय तकारा इज ड्रॉप्ड एंड यू गेट गोमान नाउ द लास्ट सूत्र फॉर दिस इज दिस सकारा व्हिच इज अ इंडिपेंडेंट अ सिंगल लेटर अ सिंगल प्रत्यय लेटर व्हेन एवरीथिंग गोज अवे एंड ओनली अ सिंगल लेटर रिमेंस हल एक अल a single letter whether it is a vowel or a whether it is a hal a consonant is immaterial but that gets what sanya aprukta sanya aprukta is a sanya for ekal pratya ekal means one al ek al ek al pratya ekah al yasmin pratye sah pratya ekal pratya that pratya which has only one letter remaining that is called as what ekal pratya and that ekal pratya gets a sanya aprukta अप्रुक्ता है इतनी संज्ञा, so it gets अप्रुक्ता संज्ञा and that अप्रुक्ता संज्ञा what happens हलनी आप जो दीर्घा सुतिस्य अप्रुक्तम हल लोपहा लुप्यते, so हल हल which is an अप्रुक्तम हल अप्रुक्तम सुए दीर्घा सुतिसि so I'll just हलनी आप जो forget forget this हलनी आप जो हलनी आप जो दीर्घा सुतिसि so इसे सुत सुतिसि हल take this हल हल हलनी आप जो टेक दिस एस पंचमी, so one part of that says when हल, after a हल, after a हल means what this this गोमान गोमान शब्द हीर इस एंडिंग इन हल, so after a हल अप्रुक्त्य अप्रुक्तम सुतीसी अप्रुक्तम हल, this अप्रुक्तम हल which is there this is अप्रुक्त हल, why अप्रुक्त हल? it is हल all right consonant, but why अप्रुक्त? because it is a एकाल प्रत्यय, it is a single it is a प्रत्यय and it is a single letter pratya. A single letter pratya which is a hal that undergoes lopa when it follows, when it follows, follows hal, follows halanta. So halanta here it is, this halni abhyo, halni abhyo dirga sutisya pruktam hal lupyate. So what it means, I'll not explain everything, I'll just explain this hal. After a hal, halni abhyo, this is panchami bahu vachana. After a hal, ni, ap, after that, all these are anta, halanta, niyanta, abanta. This is what it means. Halanta, niyanta, abanta. I'll not explain what niyanta and abanta means. There are some strilinga pratyas. So after nadihi, so nadihi or ap, that's why you don't see visarga. You don't see visarga in marut, you don't see visarga in nadi, you don't see visarga in rama. Rama, rame, ramaha, nadi, nadyo, nadyaha. Why not, why nadihi, why not nadihi, why not ramaha? And why not Marutaha? Why not Marut Marut Marutaha? You don't get that. You get Marut. Why? Because that Aprukta Hal after a Marut Shabda, which is like Goma Halanta, or after Akaranta or Ekaranta, this Aprukta Hal Lupyate. Thereby you get Goman, and I also mentioned thereby you get Nianta, you get Nadianta, that Nadi you get, and Apanta, you get Rama Akaranta. And halanta you get marutityadi. Here also goman, goman plus sakara. That that sakara undergoes lopa, and this entire thing is called as since it has taken this sakara as what as su pratya. It is a subanta subanta padam. Therefore, subting antam padam is applicable, and this is called as pada goman. What is our interest here? Goman plus su. When you reach at goman plus sakara. There, in these two steps, in this step, between this step and this step, there is a Sanyoganta Silopa. Takara Silopa is our interest. If you have understood this much, that's all the target is. All the sutras are bonus. If you understood basic meaning, well and good. If you didn't understand, no worries. We'll see this in Subanta Prakriya. They are not in this context at all. But I couldn't have explained this part without explaining these things. So these are the steps leading to that, but not important. Uh, but if you hear them multiple times, you will get how the prakriya works uh, across. You will know how the ashtadjai uh, derivation works. So we'll stop here. I'll uh, see you on Wednesday here, and uh, then Thursday there will be no class. Uh, I'll I'll see you others who are att attending live class in Bangalore uh, next to next week. But next week we'll have an online class on Wednesday. वसाने नटराज राजो नाधक्का पंचवर उद्धर्तु काम सनका सिद्धा 
एतर्षे शिवसूत्रजाल क्वेश्चन